Before we get into our training video, if by chance you found this video as a recommended video on YouTube, this training video is actually part of an extensive Corel Draw for Beginners training series from AdvancedTShirts.com. We have developed dozens of videos and we also have available on our website downloadable work along files that you can work with in Corel Draw while you're working through the training videos. Easily the best and fastest way to learn. If these videos are helpful to you, please take a second to add a like to the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can be notified when we upload new video content. And of course, in the comment section below, you can post your questions or your Corel Draw video tutorial requests. This will be session one in our Corel Draw for Beginners training series. And before we get into working with the software, I want to lay a foundation of understanding the types of graphic objects that we'll be working with in CorelDRAW because everything that you see in graphic design is based on objects. CorelDRAW graphic object types, vectors, and bitmaps. Now, both of these objects are the foundation of everything you'll be doing in Corel Draw relating to graphic design. Working in graphic design, understanding graphic objects, and the tools for working with graphic objects is the key to becoming efficient in any type of graphics work. This training series has been designed to give you the foundation you need to get started with Corel Draw and graphic design work. And in that design work, we're going to be dealing with two different types of objects. And those would be either vector objects or bitmap objects. Vector objects are wireframe shapes and curves, also text, comprised of lines and nodes. They have properties such as fills and outlines. You can apply transparencies and other effects can be applied to them. Bitmaps are photographic images or graphics comprised of pixels and are edited based on color modes and color channels. Adjustments and effects are made with bitmap color tools and effects tools. Now these two objects are the foundation of everything in graphic design work. For example, vectors in Corel Draw, you have your text, you have vector shapes, and you have vector curves. So you can take and work with your text as a vector object and apply effects to it and make adjustments to it and change colors, etc. And let's take a look at what a wireframe is. And go to view and wireframe. Now you can see all of the text and all the vector objects have become these black lines in Corel. And with my center mouse wheel, I'll just push forward to zoom in on the vector text and the wine stop logo. If I select that vector text, I can see down here in the status bar, and we'll cover the workspace in the next few sessions, that that's an artistic text object, but yet it's vector. Here with the wine stop logo, if I select the glass in the icon, I have a curve. That's a vector curve on layer one. If I come down further, we'll see the racing numbers design. We can see all these vectors on top of each other creating that design. I'll go back to view and enhanced. And now you can see the effect of the colors and fills and transparencies applied to all of those vector wireframe objects and how it creates the design. And they're all piled on top of each other. I'm going to pull back on my center mouse wheel, zoom out, and then I'll zoom in to the complex vector automotive illustration. Now, this has over 8,000 objects in it. It's a very complex illustration. It took me about six to eight hours to put together. If I left click hold down, I'll just lasso that, and we'll cover the pick tool and all of these things later. But you can see 8,840 objects. But really what's gone on here is many vector objects have been piled up on top of the foundation of the body of the car and around it to create the vector illustration of the automotive. And this is a Ford Cobra 
GT350 that I illustrated. If I take some of these vector objects and move them out and take them away from the body of the car, we'll see here there is the initial trace. That's where everything started for the vector illustration. That was just the trace of the body of the car. And then the rest of the vector objects and elements were applied on top of that with effects such as transparencies, gradient fills, and other things and properties that can be applied to vector objects in Corel Draw. So I'll hit Control Z and we'll move all of this back. Control Z, Control Z, Control Z, Control Z. And then that will refresh and there's our illustration. You can see how much detail we can get with vector objects. Now vector objects and vector designs, because they're vector, they can be scaled to any size, 20 feet by 20 feet, and they'll stay absolutely clean because they're vector, whereas bitmaps are comprised of pixels. So we've covered the basics of what the vector objects are. Let's take a look at what bitmap objects are and how they work. I'm just zooming out here and we'll zoom in. Take a look at this Westville sports logo. And we can see as we zoom in here, we see these little squares. These little squares in bitmaps are referred to as pixels. And each pixel is a container for color bit data, depending on the color mode or color model of the bitmap. Now this is an RGB bitmap, so there would be three channels, red, green, and blue, and each channel would have a certain amount of color data for that color for each pixel. And we're not going to get into a lot relating to bitmaps. We just want to cover the basics here so that we know that we're working with two different types of objects when we're dealing with graphic design in Corel Draw. Now here I have a Mustang photograph. Now this is an RGB, but over here I've kind of created a simulation of how the CMYK color would work based on color channels. And when we do our training on bitmaps, we'll get into the color channels, but that won't be in this training series, that'll be in another training series. But what goes on with bitmaps is they have the grayscale gradients, as we can see here, the cyan and the magenta. And if I take this apart, you can see here is the yellow gradient, here is the magenta gradient, there's the cyan gradient, and there's the black gradient. Now each one of these gradients is blended together, added together, and that creates the color of the photograph. So you'd have four bitmap channels or grayscale bitmaps that have a color applied to them, and then those four are all blended together to create the image. And this would be based on RGB channels, red, green, blue. And we can see how this would work down here. We get the black, the yellow, the magenta, and the cyan. Now, when we're working with design in Corel Draw, very often we'll work with both types of objects. I really like to design with monochrome bitmaps and vector together because I can create some great designs but still be working with just a few colors. Here I have a Marilyn Monroe design, and her signature is in vector, it's a curve, but the images are. And I'm going to hold down Alt here and go to the back. Our setup as monochromes. Now, monochrome bitmaps are very unique in that they can have colors applied to them. Change that to a cyan. You can see that effect on the design. And that would actually look pretty nice in the design. Now, you'll see these lines sometimes in Corel. It's just the way it's rendering the bitmap and the edges. Here we have the Speedism 2019 with the bike racer. And then we've got some of what we refer to as a particle effect coming off the side. These are set up as monochrome bitmaps also. And then down here, we can see that what we've got is, I'll actually, I'll just hold down Alt and select that. And I'll get into these selection things later, but that's a vector curve on layer one. So we're working with a combination of bitmaps and vector in these designs. Over here, we have the street gear design, New York City. This is kind of like a resort wear design. 
Now on top of this, we have vector objects to which we've applied a bitmap transparency effect to create the texture in the design. And if I select this object and I come over here to the transparency tool, we can see here is the transparency bitmap applied to the vector object. So here I'm working with a combination of bitmap objects or a bitmap object that has been applied to a vector object for a transparency effect in the design. And you can see we have the same effect also here in the text that is a bitmap transparency. So you can see how we work with these two objects together in the design process and what some of the differences are between them. So go ahead and wrap here concerning the types of graphic objects that we'll be working with in CorelDRAW. Just want to lay a foundation for that because everything is going to evolve around these two types of objects and the tools, features, and functions in CorelDRAW that can be applied to the process of graphic design work based on these two types of objects. So we'll wrap here for session one and we'll continue in our next video session.